everybody, it's Katie, and today I am going to be doing the most intimidating TBR book tag. So there are a total of nine questions in this book tag, and my stack of books to respond to this tag is absolutely huge. Original book tag is done by Lindsay Ray. I will leave a link to that tag in the caption area below. I wasn't tagged by anyone. I'm taking it upon myself to do this tag. Let's begin. The question in this tag is, what book have you been unable to find? That book is Sometimes A Light Surprises by Jamie Turner. Um, I got this book for free. The, my university library has these book unhauls that they often do and this is one of the books that they were giving away for free and I grabbed it and I started reading it and I got I only got like 17 pages into this book so I definitely want to give it a shot again I just haven't just I don't know I just don't have the drive to for this book the second question is uh, a book that you have yet to read because you just haven't had time and that book is The Story Keeper. It looks really interesting and the cover is super pretty and you know, it just been sitting on my shelf and I've been wanting to get to it. I just haven't yet. I haven't read yet because it's a sequel. Hunger by Michael Gray. I've read Gone, I love Gone. Uh, I know that this is like a seven book series, and eventually I would like to get to all of them. Eventually, but I only have Gone and Hunger. And it's been so long since I've read Gone that I only remember parts of it. And I'm gonna have to, like, recap on what happened in Gone before I read Hunger, and I just don't have time for that. What book have you yet to read because it's brand new? And... What I'm going to be holding up is a book that I have had for a very long time, but I have recently bought the rest of the books, excluding one which has just come out. Um, and I'm listing it under brand new because the whole series is brand new to me, and I really just don't feel the need to hold up the entire box set. So I am holding up the old copy that I have, and that is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. I have yet to read this series. If all goes well and I get through my TBR as planned for this month, fingers crossed, um, I plan on next month going through and marathoning, and I can then go and get Lady Midnight, which everyone has been talking about, and I would love to be able to be on that bandwagon. A book you have yet to read because you read a book by the same author and you didn't enjoy it. This is going to be a fairly classic answer, but it is Stephen King. I want to read Joyland because uh, the, or the amusement park that it is based off of is an amusement park that I grew up going to, Canopy Lake Park in Salem. I love that park and I love the fact that Stephen King based a book off of something that just it r brings back so many memories just saying Canopy Lake Park and I read this so bad I jacked it for my father and I'm like no I'm gonna read it I'm gonna read it soon and I just haven't yet because I read um Cujo the one about the dog the rapid dog and I'm an animal fan and I'm an animal lover and I don't like seeing animals hurt or suffering and that was a lot of what happened in the Stephen King book so uh, that's why I haven't gotten into it yet. What book have I yet to read because I'm just not in the mood for it and that is the third book in this series. I have the la I have all of the books I just haven't read the books yet. I read the first and the second and I just need, I have the third, like, right here, and the fourth is on my shelf. And that is Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick. Uh, I love the concept of fallen angels and um, where it takes place in Maine. Um, I have family that lives in Maine. This is just such an angsty 
series and the angst just comes off of the page in copious amounts and I just need to be prepared for that and I need to be in the mood for that and I just haven't yet. A book that I have yet to read because it is humongous <sighs> and that is it's the Lux series. I know this is a bind up of the first and second books in the series but I mean Come on, that's massive. It's really, really big. Just holding this thing is intimidating. A book that I bought because of the cover, I'm changing this a little bit and I put it as a book that I bought because of the author that I have yet to read. I'm way behind on this one and that is, it could also qualify for the humongous, Life and Death by Stephanie Meyer. I haven't read Life and Death yet, and I bought it because of the author, and I mean, it has like the, that copy between Twilight and li Life and Death, and it, it's, it's interesting, and I look forward to it, I just haven't done it yet. It's one of those, like, if I finish my TBR pile, and I have time, then I'll read it, but if it's... I just haven't had the motivation to put it on my TBR pile. Finally, what is the most intimidating book in my TBR pile? And I'm going back to Cassandra Clare here because I want to marathon this entire series and that's pretty intimidating. So, because that's a lot. And you know, they're not the smallest of books. That is the uh, Intimidating TBR book tag. And I, I can't even say that I have links to anything down below because I really don't because these are all books that I haven't read yet. Uh, um, so, yeah. Liked if you like this. Subscribe if you want to be notified to when I post more videos. And follow me on social media. All of the link and information will be in the description box below. The Twitter, the Tumblr, the Instagram, the Snapchat. Um, I'm just, I'm all over the place, man. Facebook, Goodreads, you can find me all over the place. So with that being said, insert a creative outro here and I will talk to you later. Bye. There's an insert in this book that I didn't know about. Shows you how much that I haven't read this book. Uh, but it has a recipe on it for uh, Appalachian apple bread pudding. Hey! Leave it! Play with your own toys, not my clothing. My dog causes so much trouble. Yes, you. You, yes. <laughs> Situation, no talking. No talking. No talking. No talking.